For those of you who are long-term viewers of my Twitch channel or my Hearthstone tutorials on YouTube, you'll know that I often use this deck tracker over here on the right-hand side of the screen, which automatically updates as I play my cards and as I draw them into my hand. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you what it is, where you get it from, how you use it, how you can use it to track stats. We'll be discussing whether it's actually allowed in the game, um, and I'll be also be showing you um, how you can ultimately use it to improve your game. So. Pull up a chair and let's play Hearthstone. So greetings, my name is The Adipose and this lovely little device over here is the Hearthstone Deck Tracker by Epix37 and it is fantastic. Um, it's free and it's donation wear. So if you like it, please donate. I'm sure um, he or she uh, would really appreciate it and it is fantastic. Um, let's deal with the obvious elephant in the room first. Is it actually allowed? Now there's various paragraphs in the in the, the Blizzard documentation that says, you know, you running third party uh, pieces of software um, that, that affects the game um, is not allowed. You can't do anything that kind of scans the game or scans memory and things like that. Um, but this doesn't. Um, it uses a log file, um, which, the, which Hearthstone outputs automatically, and it reads from that log file. And um, if I just flick a, you across to my other window, um, the lead developer of um, Hearthstone, Ben Brode, uh, if you lead here, senior game designer on Hearthstone at Blizzard Entertainment, has commented has commented on this now um, twice. Uh, he said, I haven't looked at it, but in general, if it duplicates things that you can already do with pen and paper, it's fine. And he was asked again about it um, later. And again, he said, as long as it only duplicates what is already possible with paper and pencil, it's fine. And that's what this does. Um, it, essentially, what it does is if you were to write down exactly what your deck is, and as you drew each card, crossed it off, and as your opponent played a card, you wrote down exactly what they were drawing, and if you were to take lots and lots of notes about what those cards are at the top, and if you were to take loads and loads of notes about how you did against this deck or how you did against that deck, um, you know, all this stuff that you could write down, this program does it automatically. So it doesn't give you any advantage that you couldn't have if you were just very, 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 very organized. Um, but on top of that, it really does, um, for me, help me improve my game because I'm constantly thinking um, not only about what I've got in my hand, but also what could be coming into my hand. I'm thinking about, you know, what's my early game? Have I got it in hand? Uh, what's my late game? What, you know, what's, what's down, what's down here in the kind of the, you know, the higher minions, you know, when will they be coming in? What's my chances of drawing something, um, that can actually, uh, make a difference in this situation. And you'll see as, as they come into my hand, um, the, the deck tracker over there automatically will update to show kind of what's coming in. You'll also see it just above my head here that it's also noting um, the cards that my opponent are playing, which again is things you can just do with pen and paper. And that's brilliant because it means that you can start to kind of identify maybe uh, what deck your opponent may be playing. It means you can start to um, uh, uh, I, learn what kind of cards work well against your deck. And it also keeps statistics about how well your deck is kind of doing. You can see here, um, this is the Hunter Taker deck I'm using here, and I've got a current win record of 17 eight 17 wins eight losses but against rogue i haven't actually played a rogue with this deck believe it or not so it's zero and zero so you can you can instantly kind of see or oh, who am i playing how have i done well against it um you can also see down here the chances of you drawing a particular card so it's saying here that if i've got one copy of something in my deck i've got five percent chance of drawing it very low and if i've got two copies of something in my deck like this kill command i've got a 10 percent chance of drawing it um so um it it um, helps you to be more aware of all of the additional things that are going on in the game, because obviously there's the obvious things in Hearthstone, the cards in your hand, the cards on the board, but there's also the, you know, oh, have they used one lightning storm or two? Have they used one backstab or, or two? Uh, what's the chances of me drawing spell damage this turn? And it, and it helps you there. I um, mean, it also, if you look at the top here, shows you the turns that your opponent drew particular cards. It also shows you if one of them's the coin. It also shows showed you if one of them is a card that you've sent back, you know, like with a sap or like with a thought steal. Um, so again, it doesn't show you what those cards are because it, because the game doesn't know, you know, there's no extra information here that you wouldn't know already, but it does, um, 
you know, help to kind of put into your mind. Okay, so he's had that he's had that card since turn one. He hasn't played it yet. So it's either very, very conditional or it's a very big minion. You can also see um, there's codes that appear for cards that have been mulliganed with, with an M and cards that haven't. So if he's kept his whole hand, you might be kind of thinking, oh, these are cards he's going to want to play earlier. If they're mulligans, maybe you want to take a bit more of a risk. You know, maybe he hasn't actually got in hand the things he... Um, the things that he actually needs. Um, but you hopefully, you, just in this kind of short introduction, you can see the massive um, possibilities um, of this piece of software. Um, I'm playing the innkeeper here just to kind of demonstrate the software, and you can even customize this software um, to tell it when to track your statistics and when not to track your statistics. So this game it has absolutely nothing to do with my statistics. The game isn't going to um, uh, remember it at all. Um, but uh, but but casual ranked arena, it's going to remember all those, and you can and you can tweak it. So let me show you it. Let me take you back across to my desktop, um, and this is where you need to go um, to this website here it's on github.com slash epics 37 slash hearthstone hyphen deck slash hyphen tracker and i'll put the link in the description which will be far easier for you to click on and you can see here um his introduction to it including um all of the instructions for what each little bit does you can see the program here which i'll show you in a minute he's got a list of features and how it works and you can see the um the latest release button here the donate button is here um if you wish to donate and if you click here to download um you can you can see the big green button here, which gets you the uh, the the latest um, release. But by and large, you just download it and then you run it. Um, and I normally run it before before Hearthstone, and it tends to pick it up um, a little bit quicker. And uh, when you run it, it looks like this. Here it is, um, and you can see here all of the different classes. And in each class are all of the decks that I have used. And I, th I think it's pretty limitless you know, to how many you can have stored on here. Um, and I'll show you the example of the statistics. So let's just show you the, the Hunter Taker deck I was using um, here. I mean, as I, ch as I change deck here, you can see... Um, oh, it's telling me I've got the wrong deck. It's, it's smart. It knows which deck I'm actually using in the game. And therefore, it's, it's, it's objecting to me actually tabbing out. It's very, very clever. And it also has an automatic deck switcher. So if I use this deck, and then I go and use one of my priest deck, by the cards that you draw for your mulligan, it'll have a good guess at what deck it actually um, well, is. So let me concede here and and uh, and get out. Um, but you'll... You can see here that if I change between um, the different decks that the, the side completely changes here to show all those cards. And note all the images are in there as well. There's a little picture of the Harvest Golem and the swipe and things, uh, which is great. Um, so if I show you my, uh, my Hunter Taker deck, um, and you've got a button here that says Stats. And you can see here loads of really, really useful um, information about uh, my win rate, um, my win rate against all the other different classes, um, and I can see all my last results here as well. You know whether I won, whether I didn't, whether it was ranked, whether it was casual, and um, which which is really useful for thinking about what are the strengths and weaknesses of your deck. You know if you've lost loads and loads and loads. But actually, all you've been facing is other hunters. You know, maybe it's not good against hunter, and then you come in here and you kind of think, actually, no, it is good against everything else. So you know, it allows you to make decisions about what cards you need to tweak or even what decks you need to play, um, and keep a nice history of what you've been doing as well. And, and because it also keeps the the last decks that you have faced, if I show you my uh, my freeze mage here, um, it also allows you to kind of think about, you know, what is the current meta? You know, what, what classes am I playing most here? So for example, I could look here and kind of say, well, I'm facing quite a lot of Shaman and Hunter, but not a lot of Druid and, and Warlock. And it all kind of depends where you play and what rank you are and things. But you, you get the idea. It gives you that kind of extra information about what is going on in the game. Let me show you another really, really cool feature. Um, let's say that I was surfing around on uh, a Hearthstone website, for example, like Hearthbone here, and I found a deck I'd like to use. So here's one here. It's called Firestorm Legendary Control by RL Brooklyn. And I'd quite like to try it out in my game. Um, this is has a really has a quick way of just importing it. So you, you copy the web link across, go back into the game, into the deck tracker. You click Import from Web. It automatically pastes in there for you, and you hit OK, and loads the deck, and ta-da! There it is, and it's even put the name in there for you, Hearthstone, uh, Firestorm Legendary, Con Legendary Control, and I can hit save, it automatically recognizes it as a mage deck, and it's now in there, but wait, we're not done. Are you ready for the really, really, really cool bit? We go back into Hearthstone, we go to my 
collection and we can make the deck tracker automatically send the game to Hearthstone by simulating some key presses and things like that. So I just hit new deck, mage, choose, and you leave it at that point there, then you just go export to Hearthstone. It'll say create a new mage deck and leave it blank. You hit OK. Watch this. Oh, it's magic! It all goes in there. Um, it sometimes misses a card or two, and you have to go in and work out which one was missing, but it's still so much quicker. And um, it also helps to get around that nine that nine deck limit that Hearthstone has, because you know, sometimes you're kind of like, well, I love my priest deck and I don't want to delete it. Um, but you can using this tool because you just delete it off Hearthstone, but it keeps all your statistics on the deck tracker. And then when you want to play it again, just export it again and then and it and it and it's back in again. Um and you just hit done and your deck is ready to go, including the correct name again, notice Firestorm Legendary and all that kind of stuff, um, which is um fantastic. Um it's just a brilliant, brilliant tool. There's loads of things you can customize. Um if we go into uh, uh, all the options. You can choose whether you want it to automatically update there. You can hide it. You can hide it if it's in the background, if it's on top. You can hide different things. You can hide the decks. You can hide their decks. You can hide those numbers at the top if you don't like them. Um, there's tooltips as well, which is uh, really useful. If I just go back into a game against the innkeeper and I'll get let that one load up. Um, it has little guides when they play. Um when you play various cards, so it, it, it can tell you about them. So let's let's um, let's go with a Malagos deck. It should automatically pick it up for us. Um, you can change the theme of it, the color of it. You can change. Um, you can put a timer on. I don't have the timer. I've hidden mine, but you can have it. You know how there's actually a minute and a half, but it only starts counting you down from 30 seconds. You can actually put in a timer that shows you it right from the beginning. And you can actually have a history of the time. So you've spent in total five minutes thinking about your turns, but your opponent has only spent 30 seconds. You know, if that kind of um, statistics um, interests you, let's just do a quick mulligan like that. Um, and you can see here as I just run my run my mouse down the deck. You can see all these little tool tips here, which is fantastic. You can turn them off if you don't like it. Uh, you can customize the color if you don't like it. Um, also, if your opponent plays a secret, it brings up a little extra thing up here with the list of the secrets for that class. So you can, which is really helpful, you know, because sometimes you have to look when you think, oh my God, what are the secrets for Paladin? And then you're just going to run your mouse down these and you can kind of see all four of them or five of them and kind of go, well, it can't be that one because I've done this. Oh, let me just test for this one. Um, really helpful. And again, it's not information you couldn't get through other methods. It just takes the information that you can get and puts it all um, in, in, this, in the same place. Um, and again, here you, I'm telling it here to, if, if to keep the deck title and things like that, uh, and in other, I can tell it what, what to record ranked arena friendly practice. Uh, you can tell it to prioritize golden cards. There is just loads and loads of options. So it's worth just, um, going around and having a little play. Um, but it stores your decks. It shows you the current deck that you are playing with. It shows you the cards that your opponent has used. You can even import a deck from your opponent. So if you play against someone and you see most of their deck, you can even kind of go, hey, that deck looks great. And then there's a button that allows you to import that deck in. You probably need to add the cards you didn't see and then you know, and give that deck a go, uh, which, is, which is fantastic. Um, it doesn't pick up if you don't own a card. So it will try to put in... Ragnaros, whether or not you have Ragnaros, but you know, that's something you kind of need to work out um, for yourself. But it is a really, really great tool. And uh, it's helped me take my gameplay to the next level because I'm, I'm thinking bigger picture all the time um, about what is going on in the game, what's coming up, and uh, hopefully it'll make a real difference um, to you as well. So that is the Hearthstone Deck Tracker um, by Epix37. A massive thank you uh, to him. Uh, and uh, looking forward to uh, updates and future um, releases. Um, again, the link is in the description. So if you fancy it, go and um, check it out. And I hope you have found it as uh, useful and as um, fun as as I have. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, um, then uh, go and check out the software. Um, but also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can watch me play live over on twitch.tv slash the adipose TV and you can interact with me and the posse. And uh, please give the video a like or comment if you've got anything to say. Thanks for coming. You have been fantastic. And you know what? So is this deck tracker. Take care. Bye-bye.